everybody. My name's Harry James. The WNIT third round set to go. Oklahoma Sooners will play the Missouri State Tigers in Norman in the third round. And we'll also preview what happens to the winner of that one and the loser. Bottom half of the wit bracket. Coming up next, but more sooner 1982, don't go away! My name's Harry James. We'll start on the Oklahoma side of the preseason WNIT bracket. That involves our very own Oklahoma Sooners as they will host the Missouri State Tigers 25 and 10 to match a 16 and 2 V Valley uh, record in the conference play. The Valley uh, with 25 wins, they earned their right to play in the NCAAs. Where they lost in the Sweet 16, lost that one to Stanford, 55 to 46. Their head coach, Unica Angru Hamilton, 2005 grad from Hofstra, and is in her first season in charge of the Tigers of Missouri State. So, first year coach, not going to be easy to get them back to where they want to be in the tournament. But it makes it easier when you have not one, but two leading scorers coming back. That's what the Tigers have, including number 22, Alexis Willard, and number 11, Bruce Callip. We'll start with 22, Alexis Willop. 12.3 uh, points per ballgame for her last season. Also averaging 2.5 boards and 0 0.8 assists per ballgame. Also, Bryce Callip. 10.1 points per ball game, 4.1 boards, and 2.2 assists per ball game last year for the Tigers of Missouri State. Now the Oklahoma Sooners, 8 and 21 last season, 4 and 14 in Big 12 play. Curse, they lost 104 to 84 in the women's uh, Big 12 tournament first round of Texas Tech. Their head coach Sherry Cole. Is a 1980 grad from Oklahoma Christian University and is in her 24th year in charge of the Crimson and Cream. Uh, scoring leaders turning from last season. Uh, number 22, my lady Anna Lenusa. I love watching her play, averaging 18.2 points per ball game, 3.4 boards, and 1.2 assists per ball game last year for the Sooners of Oklahoma. Now, do remember she did not play in all, what would that be, 29 games last season? Because of the injury that happened in the preseason. Now, Robert, Taylor Robinson, Robertson, Robertson, however, did play in all 29 games, averaging 14.3 points per ball game, 3.3 boards, and 1.3 assists per ball game for the Sooners of Oklahoma last season. Now, that's the top bracket. That's the Oklahoma bracket. The bottom bracket is where it gets interesting. Now we'll go over all the teams in this bracket because they don't start till tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night. And I'm not going to do this just. For, I'm not going to do a video just for tomorrow. So we'll just go over everything from the opposite bracket. Bracket B is what we're going to call this. Uh, in bracket B, you have DePaul. They're in there, 26 and 8, 14 and 4 last season in the Big East. Lost to the aforementioned Missouri State. Uh, 89 to 78 in the first round of the women's NCAA tournament. Their head coach Doug Bruno, a 1973 grad from DePaul, and is in his 34th year in charge of DePaul and the Demon Demons. 
Uh, Charlotte Stonewell averages uh, 14.3 points per ball game last season for the Demons. Also, two point. Uh, also averaging uh, 5.5 boards and 1.5 assists per ball game last year for the Demons. They also have Lexi Held. Now, number 10, Lexi Held didn't average double figures last season. Only averaged about 8.3 points per ball game, 1.3 boards and 1.6 assists per ball game for the Demons. The bottom half of that bracket, it's Drexel, the Drexel Dragons, the Dragons and the Demons. That's going to be kind of interesting, isn't it? 24-9 for the dra Dragon part. 14-4 uh, in the Colonial Athletic Conference. Uh, made it all the way to the postseason wit tournament, WNIT, where they lost to uh, Harvard 69-57, or 69-56. Their head coach, uh, Denise Dillon, is a 1986 frag from Wayne University, is in her, and is in her 17th year at Drexel. Drexel. Uh, their uh, double-digit scorers that, that, that return, there's only one, number 23, Bailey Greenberg, 17.2 points per ball game, 7.2 boards, 1.5 assists per ball game last year for the Dragons. They do have Nikki uh, Metzel also returning, but she only averages 8.6 points. 5.3 boards, and 2.1 assists per ball game for the Dragons of Drexel. Now, the other half of the bracket is uh, Oregon State and Pacific and the Tigers. Now, Oregon State, last season, 26-8, and 4-14 and and in Pac-12 play, lost to Louisville in the women's NCAA Sweet 16, uh, 61 to 44. Their head coach Scott Ro uh, Rosick, 1992 grad from Oregon State, and is in his tenth year as a Beaver at his alma mater. Now helping him get his alma mater back to where they want to be, it really helps having two double figure scorers, and he does have them: Destiny uh, Slocum and uh, Michaela Pivik. We'll start 24. Destiny. Solocum, 15.4 points per ball game, 3.4 boards, and 4.5 assists per ball game for the Beavers. While also Michaela Pivik, 15.2 points per ball game, 9.2 boards, and 3.3 assists per ball game for uh, the Beavers last season. Now, the Pacific Tigers are also invited. 19-3, uh, 10-8 and and, uh, in, in the West Coast Conference. Lost at Arizona in the second round of the postseason wit last season, 64-48. Their head coach is uh, Bradley Davis. He's 1995 grad from Cal Berkeley and is in his fifth year in charge of the Tigers. Again, uh, Bradley Davis, two double-figure scores returning for him also, including number 22, Valerie Higgins, and number 14, Brooklyn Mc. McDavid. We'll start with 22, Valerie Higgins, 17.2 points per ball game, 9.0 boards, and 3.3 assists per ball game last year for the Tigers. Also, 14, Brooklyn McDavid, 15.1 points per ball game, 6.6 .6 boards, and 0 0.3 assists per ball games last season for the Tigers of Pacific. Now, remember, this is a tournament, so it's 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 win and survive, survive and win. Uh, so whoever wins those games tomorrow will play Oklahoma or uh, Missouri State, respectively, uh, next weekend. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, Postseason is uh, going to be fun, we hope, uh, for football. Uh, so keep an eye out for that just around. That's just around uh, the corner. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Harry James. You can catch this and all my other videos on my Facebook page, Harry James Taylor. Also, tweet them out at Hatman Harry and Boomer Sooner1982 on my YouTube channel. All three have them. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and Boomer Sooner, everybody. I'm out of here. Peace.